Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your reading for September 1st through the 10th. This is for the sign of Aries. We are just going to see whatever comes up. Typically, my readings are love readings, so this is for Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, okay? We're just going to see what's going to come up. And I've started doing things different. I'm going to get three of these cards, and then we're going to clarify them at the end. You know, we're going to do clarifiers on them. So stay tuned. But we're going to go ahead and get these right now and see what comes up. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Interesting. Let your friends help you. you may be going through a difficult time. You know, usually when that card comes up, you may need some support. Ooh, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Ooh. One more. Wedding. This situation involves marriage. Now, the red, there could be red flags, okay, in regards to, you know, getting married to somebody or going back to somebody. Whatever this is, you're probably going to need some support, whatever it is. Oh, damn, I just happened to look on the bottom. I probably shouldn't have. Should I show it to you? She's some girl I don't know. I think I'll wait to show it to you. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Mm. Removing obstacles. Somebody is removing some obstacles from, or the universe is. Obstacles are being removed. Whether you're doing it or whatnot, somebody is taking the mask off, stepping outside of their comfort zone. Letting go of emptiness. I'm letting I'm letting go. Jeez and Crow, a song just came to my mind and it it's gone. It was in and out very quickly. Maybe it'll come back. I'm giving up loneliness. I'm giving up on you. Something like that. Oh, the lovers reverse is the end, the end of a contract. A split. Whether this is with a job, a family member, or a partner, there's a split. Which brings a, a new beginning. I mean, that's what this is. It brings a new beginning. A new partnership. Something that you are very much bound to. Okay, you are bound to something. You see, they're tied together. Now... Gracious, it's facing your demons. So you guys are going to be facing some demons here. You may have been, you may have been sabotaging yourself in something that was not love. And you know, there's consequences. This is a card of consequences. There's consequences for doing that. Could have been dealing with a Gemini or Capricorn. But, you know, if you were, you know, obsessed with something that was mentally tormenting you, some, some kind of contract or a person, you know, there's consequences for lying to yourself or whatever. Mm. Now, this is you being naive being taken advantage of by another person. But I think you see it. I do. And I think you're removing that situation from your life. Standing up for yourself. Yeah. Maybe you felt like you've been attacked by this person. Whew. 
It's like I'm starting to come out of this darkness. I'm starting to see the light. I'm starting to realize the situation for what it is. It was a lie. It was deception. It was lust. It's the end of difficulty. You guys are coming out of a period of darkness. A period of manipulation by somebody. Somebody was taking advantage of you. That's the damn truth. Here we have uh, no communication, no forward movement. There's definitely some, you know, feeling guilty perhaps. Maybe you're feeling guilty for wasting your time on this person or this situation. Or the other person is feeling guilty. There's, there's probably some regrets here. This is also blocked. Maybe somebody blocked you or you block them. Maybe dealing with this false contract has blocked true love. Mm. You know, something has left you feeling really discontent. It was a lie. But I feel like you're realizing it. You're realizing that that was a lie. Okay, so yikes. It feels as though somebody's been trying to control, clinging to control. Not going with the plan. Refusing to start a new chapter when it's time to start the new chapter. Refusing to complete this cycle when the cycle is already completed. Going backwards by hanging on to a commitment that is over. Going backwards, a commitment that was very dramatic, it's done. Blocking. True love, blocking a new partnership. Maybe you were overly criticizing yourself or this person was criticizing you, fighting for something that wasn't even compatible. Acting naive, being taken advantage of the whole damn time. When you get the Wheel of Fortune reversed, that's, that's bad luck. It's bad luck because there's a change of course that is trying to happen, but you're not letting it happen. And when you fight it, that's when the freaking curveballs get thrown at you. So, you know, I feel like, you know, with this devil, if you look, I mean, there's there's been some sort of obsession to something that or addiction to something that was bringing you backwards but I think you realize it now I do it was it wasn't making you happy and and perhaps now there's another offer now when you get the page of cups this could this is a welcome message this is a message of love this is like Cupid bringing two people together this is good news that is coming in it might be unexpected, but it's emotional support or it's an offer of love. This is also a card that says, listen to your intuition at this time because your intuition is talking to you. Oh, yeah, you guys been stuck for quite some time on a deceptive situation. <laughs> you have, you have. But with the hangman reverse, perhaps you're getting unstuck. Because underneath it, we have the five of pentacles reversed. It's realizing that you have sacrificed yourself long enough for a SOB. Somebody hadn't been listening to their intuition. They've been, you know, not... And, 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 you know, both of these cards, not going with the script. I will fight the plan. 
even though I know that I know what the plan is subconsciously I'm gonna fight it anyway and I'm gonna block out new love because I'm still in this karmic karmic contract naive naively blocking destiny by not listening loss of self keeping secrets repression refusing to listen oh bastard I'm sorry I can't stop myself you know it's it's time it's time to step over that threshold you know that it is you know that it is But you have to find the strength to do so, to complete that last cycle, that karmic lesson. It's like the universe is trying to change your course. They're trying to change your path, but you're not allowing it because free will plays a part. It does. It absolutely does. You will continue to have bad luck and struggles until you step over the finish line. There's a feeling of emptiness. There's a feeling of lack. There's a feeling of, of being incomplete in this situation. You're not feeling like... You're ready to start a new chapter or, or maybe you are. Maybe you feel like you're ready or you're not. Maybe you're, I see repression here. But there is a new beginning that wants to start for you and it is. it looks like it could be wonderful. It could bring you success. It could bring you victory. It could bring you good things. But you have to take that step and stop acting recklessly. Stop treating yourself unfairly. Stop Letting others take advantage of you. You're going to have to step outside of your comfort zone. Aries. Because you don't even know what you deserve. You're in a one-sided situation with somebody that is unbalanced, unharmonious. And you deserve more. You deserve more than where you're at today. Your intuition knows this with these two cards. But you're still sacrificing yourself. But you're thinking about, you're starting to realize that this is a lie. But you're still holding on. You're still holding on to something that you know. It's comfortable. It's comfortable. It's safe. And it's a way to protect myself from love. You know, if I hold on to this deceptive situation, at least I'm protecting myself, right, from it happening again. I mean, right? Right? But you need to put in effort. You need to work harder. You need to sharpen your skills, perhaps, because the time is now to start this new chapter. You deserve balance. You deserve harmony. You deserve to be in a situation where there's equal give and take. You deserve a partnership where there's love. Where you don't have to sacrifice yourself, your ideals... Where you don't get left out in the cold. Where you're not being lied to. You deserve it. You deserve to be appreciated. You deserve to be with somebody who's going to work with you, not against you. You're dealing with, it could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, who is vindictive, resentful, hurtful.
And perhaps it's time to let that go. Let go of that sorrow. Let go of that grief with that person. Just let it go. Just drop it. I'm done. I'm ready to heal. We could also be dealing with a earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but maybe this is you not being grounded, not accepting reality. Stubborn. Stubborn. So I feel like this is a week of you trying to control the outcome. You may be angry, you may be, you may lose your concentration, you may lose your focus because you're stubbornly holding on to something that is not serving you. And that is the damn truth, okay? Something that is a complete lie. And I refrained myself from saying the F word. And you're holding on to this to protect yourself from, for some reason, I don't know what for, fear of the unknown, perhaps, I don't know. Clinging to control is huge. With this card and this card and the world card reversed and this card, clinging to control is huge. I will control this outcome even if it's not meant to be. Going against the script is huge too with the high priestess and the wheel of fortune reversed. Going against the plan, the universal plan, okay? The world is a universal card. The wheel's a universal card. Going against the universal plan for a false contract. That needs, that's a lie. The eight of swords is a lie. You deserve more. You don't deserve to be lied to and manipulated. You don't deserve to sacrifice true love for an unhappy situation. I mean, this is definitely an unhappy situation. There's emptiness here. The world card is emptiness. Lost. And repression right here. I mean... If you can let this go and step over that threshold, you, ha you will have victory and success. But you have to get grounded. You have to be practical and you have to be responsible. You have to be disciplined and you have to be devoted to change. I'm going to clarify these. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. You've lost your focus. You've lost your concentration. You've lost your, your drive. You probably might be feeling a little bit angry this week. Somebody may have used you. Yeah, you're probably going to be overly emotional. Something's probably going to happen that causes maybe some tears. Let your friends help you during this time. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. You're dealing with a lying son of a bitch. Couldn't refrain myself on that one. Um, somebody that is not a good person. And I'm sorry to tell you that, but that's what I see. You need to release it. Pay attention to the red flags. If you are worried about something, there's a reason for that. If something is causing you paranoia and anxiety, there's a reason for that. That's a red flag. If you're losing sleep over something, that's a red flag. That's drama. You don't need drama. If you are losing sleep over something and it's really bothering you and it's affecting your work, it's affecting your focus, it's affecting your concentration, you don't need that shit in your life. Release it. Close that door. 
Wedding. This situation involves marriage. There's no reconciliation. There isn't. There's no resurrection here. There's no chance of it getting to this point. With whoever this liar is. Forgiveness is needed. Maybe there was a divorce and you need to forgive. We're going to get you guys one of these. You know, I really feel as though whatever it is that you're hanging on to, there's no chance. There's no chance of it getting any better. You need to move on. You need to release. You need to let go. Pay attention to those red flags. If you're worried about something, that's your inner guide. Okay? It is. I see emotional, very emotional... 10 days or it won't be the whole 10 days but you know this is the first through the 10th so it could be a very emotional time where there's some tears shed as you're releasing tears releasing because there's no chance beautiful absolutely stepping into power stepping into the light you are strong beyond measure. Take back your power. Somebody has stolen it. That's the damn truth. Take back your power. Stand in your own light. Even if your burden seems heavy, it makes you stronger. If you've been standing on the sidelines or acquiescing to the needs of others, this card is letting you know it's time to stand up for yourself. The challenges you faced are making you stronger. You no longer need to live your life for others. Yet, if you choose, your light can illuminate the path for those who walk beside you. Beside you. The greatest power is silent and deep. It doesn't need a show of force. It just is. If you've lost or given away your authority to someone or something else, it's time to reclaim it. Remember I said you've lost your focus and concentration. It's the damn truth. If you've lost or given away your authority to someone or someone else, it's time to reclaim it. If you're afraid of standing in your truth because you are afraid of being judged, shunned, or rejected, it's time to let go of your hesitation. If you've been carrying responsibilities for others, you're stronger for it. However, it's time to decide to either let them go or continue forward with them, but on your terms. You have a remarkable inner spiritual power that is born of sacred love, wisdom, and grace. You remember, we were talking about drama. Anything that is a red flag needs to be re released or done on your terms. And if it isn't, then see you later. So anyway, take back your power this week. If you're single and you take back your power and you let go of this false contract, there's an opportunity for love. A new partnership. If whatever the case is, there's an opportunity for a partnership here with somebody new. But there's a false contract that somebody's been lying about. Anyway, that's what I got. Talk to you later.